Uncle, where the blazes is he? He's probably gone out looking for a good time again. It'll be his undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old codger's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily. Guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages, I've written the formula to reverse the effects, if desired. It looks like he's already not back half of it. I bet he's out there now trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give it a try. What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. Good heavens, it tastes like rancid sloth offal. Uh oh, I don't feel so good. I feel weird. I hope drinking my uncle's formula doesn't come back to bite me later in the day. I should probably mix up that reversing formula quickly. Hair of the dog. Looks like a recipe for an antidote to my uncle's formula. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Yada, yada, yada. Really? If you say so. Okay then. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. It's empty. It's got cold tea in it. No idea what's in these ones. It's state of the art. It's empty. It only gets up if there's food on offer. Hey, little lemming. It's powered by my uncle's pet lemming. I think he needs some kind of incentive, though. They're for getting the fire really hot. It's a prototype, and there's no gas. It's Smirnoff, my uncle's old dog. It's my grandfather. He went for a beard trim and never came back. It's my uncle. He's always looking for a good time. I wonder where he is now. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. Hey boy, where's my uncle? Well, that clears that up. It's an elephant's foot with sticks in it. It's my uncle's walking cane. Weird. He normally takes it with him when he leaves the house. It's my uncle's violin. I think this one used to belong to my grandfather, God rest his soul. I prefer one with a bit more snaz. Why not? No one else is using it. Gently, gently. Bugger! One of the strings snapped off. It's attached to the stand. Okay. Absolutely. 
These things will always be popular. It goes upstairs. I don't need to go upstairs. He's a professional louse tamer. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. Nice lice. Thank you. It takes years of hard work to train them to jump like that. How do you train your lice? I let them swim around in amphetamine for 20 minutes every morning. Can I have some of your lice? They are not for sale, but are free to leave whenever they wish. I like your moustache. Thank you! You should get yourself one. Where does your travelling circus travel to? From the farthest reaches of the east to the great unknown of the west. You mean you go up and down the street? Yes. Bye. So long! He's pretty hammered. The Balding Dog. He looks like he wouldn't appreciate any uninvited interaction. There are more coherent people to talk to. I'd rather not. He looks like he's not keen on being interrogated in any way. I don't think that's hair tonic. There's no one in there. I wonder why. Weenie rods. It's peeling off the door. It looks just my size. That's curious. I wonder what it's for. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. They look pretty tasty. Today's special, locally sourced, lean, meat. I prefer a greasy pie myself. And those quotation marks put me off a bit. Today's special, locally sourced, lean, I prefer a... And those... Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. Piss off. What pies do you have? Lean meat only today. Why do you have a bonnet like that in a kitchen? It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. I'm in the mood for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. Where does your meat come from? It's all sourced very locally. Bye. It's the front door to someone's house. The curtains are drawn. It's the front door to someone's house. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. Some sexy stockings with a tight weave. They're just my size. Free samples. Steve's sweets. I don't want to go too far in case my condition gets worse. Ooh, minty bum hugs. Don't mind if I do. He looks entrepreneurial. 
Little Pinkies. Hello. How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free minty bum hug to every customer to try and get rid of them. Can I have a free sweet? They're in the bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I offer free samples of those too. Bye. See you later. Hello. What free juice samples do you have at night? We have an arsenic cleanser, a cyanide buzz, and a regular poppy juice. The problem is, they all look the same, so it's a lucky dip. Bye. See you later. Oh, he only won per customer. Okay, I think there's enough glue on it. Wow, there's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now I can get rid of my amazing disguise. They're loving all that bird seed. Keep off the grass. It's an oak tree. That big branch looks handy. He's our street's official urchin. He's not a happy guy. Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Good day to you, Urchin. I ain't gonna be an Urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining, misappropriation, pilfering, and good old fashioned delinquency. Good luck. You'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. What are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Park life, eh? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. May I have a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Please, may I have some of your bird seed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. Come again. Give me some sweets. Oh, I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch, uh, sir. A couple of small minty sweets. You can have these if you give me that bird seed. All right, fair's fair. It's nearly all gone anyway. You drive? A hard bargain. A favourite of birds and mammals alike. What's wrong? My betrothed has left me. Why has she left you? She found a better man. Was he of a less porcine stature? Absolutely not. My bubble craves substantial love. No, it was his weird, his luscious, scented, manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just 
dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It was nice to talk to someone. Lacey, I'm great for soaking up liquid. Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. Oh, he'll have a nice time at the barber's. Let me see. It's after 8 a.m. Let's see what happens if I move us forward 12 hours. Uh-oh. I feel all funny. Cripes! This must be the effect of my uncle's experimental good time formula. If this is his idea of a good time, no wonder my aunt left him. I don't like this. I think I should mix up that reversing formula quickly. Keep off the grass. It's a white poppy. Now that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. That's a nice long branch. Okay. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. Hey, some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. I think they'd rather be on someone more tasty. I think they'd rather be on someone more tasty. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. It feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. Better let me scalp breathe a bit. Okay. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. It looks very absorbent. He looks like he wouldn't appreciate any uninvited interaction. <laughs> Did you just sniff me? Not recently. <laughs> Don't come near me again, you piffling fun bugler. Why would I, you mankish guff snap? Spaff weasel. Piddle stick. Jabber snap. Got it. Whiffle pump. Clump angler. Snap wobble. Cheers. Shittleberry. Funk it's duck. empty, but 100% grog resistant. Trump whistle. I'll finish my drink now. Just don't. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. <laughs> okay then. I have no idea why I'm doing this. It's clear and looks like all the others. It's clear and looks like all the others. 
This one doesn't smell familiar. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one smells like those poppies in the park. I'll take this one. It's a small vial of clear poppy juice. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. He smells like my uncle. They have a pretty tight weave on them. That should help filter out any solid matter. Okay, in it goes. It's a funnel with some stockings and charcoal inside it. That it just needs some liquid adding to it. That oh man, this stuff honks. Look at that, crystal clear. I'm still going to boil it first though. It's empty, but 100% grog resistant. It's crystal clear. It's empty. In you go, it's just got water in it. It needs more ingredients. In you go, it's full of water and poppy juice but it's missing a final ingredient. Okay. I think the formula is wearing off. I think I'm only gonna stay like this for the next 12 hours. I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. Piss off. What pies do you have? Full fat meat today. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. Please may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little charmer. It's dripping with grease. Hang on, there's something metal sticking out of it. Holy crap, that could have been nasty. I found it in my pie. Here, boy, don't move. Got some? In you go. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I think it needs more heat.
hair of the dog. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. It doesn't work. My uncle doesn't have any gas. Okay. Uh-oh. I feel all funny. Oh, great. Now I'm all big and hairy again. I need to sort out the antidote and fast. It has an exposed, naked flame at the top. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. Lovely. I've covered up its knob. Okay, I'll tie them together with this violin string. Now the bonnet's all greasy. Okay. Walking around with this inside my cloak's going to be a delicate operation. Right, here we go. Nice, but I think it has to be hotter. In they go. Now the fire's really going for it. It's blazing nicely. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I do believe it's ready. Right, let's try it out. Hey, this doesn't taste too bad. Well, this is just dandy. I did try to warn you.